Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulli and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install XAMPP or XAMPP server on Microsoft Windows 10. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to use Microsoft Edge browser because this is the default browser on Microsoft Windows 10 and everybody has it. So go ahead and launch your browser or you can launch this Microsoft Edge browser. So by default, Edge browser has the Bing search engine. Okay. In case if you have set up this Google as a search engine, so this should look like this or any other search engine for that matter. So no matter what search engine you have, you just go ahead and look for XM. So just type XM and hit enter. Similarly on Google or any other search engine. If by any chance, if you do not have uh, these search engines on your browser, you can simply go ahead and type apachefrench.org and this will take you to the apachefrench.org website where you have to click download and you will see these are the downloads available for Microsoft Windows, okay? Uh, if you're using any of the search engine, look for this download XAMPP and make sure you have apachefriends.org website URL in that search and hit on that result. Similarly on Bing result as well. So once you are here on this downloads page for Apache's XM server, you can go ahead and pick the right one for you. So this download comes with PHP 7.132 and this comes with PHP 7.2.23 okay and this is the most latest one which comes with 7.3.10 and all of them are 64-bit okay package so you want to make sure that your system type is also 64-bit okay so to check that you simply go to uh, okay look at the keyboard and the left bottom you will see a windows key press and hold it and on the right top you will see a break key above the numeric key okay just above it on the left above on the left okay and then but it's on the right top of the keyboard okay and then press both keys together so windows key and break key and you'll see something like this so this is system type you can also go to control panel all control panel item and then system or under control panel just look up for system and then click on the system and you will see here something like this okay so this is system type based on 64 bit processor so that's all you need to know you can note it down now come back to this download page and click any of these links here so I'm going to click this one which is with now by by default is this takes you to the thank you page download success page but you have to go back to this download page in case if you're using Microsoft Edge browser and then you have to click run in case if you're using any other browser other browsers save the file first the download file and then you have to locate it and run it okay so in case of Google my um, Firefox and any other browser and once you run them you will see something like which says user account control user account control yes and you have to say yes and here this is going to start the down installation process on a system some function of x previously possibly restricted say yes and this is XAMPP installation wizard so you simply say next if you do not need any of these packages included in this XM package the, the bundle you can uncheck them and then hit next this is the location where your 
uh, XM is going to install so if you want to make change you can do so and then hit next learn more about bitnami for XM you can visit this link here and you sh should be able to understand a lot of things here okay so now you have to ready to it says ready to install go ahead and hit next so if you keep that box checked this opens a new tab on here which you do not need to visit in case if you do not want to so now this is going to install XM on your Microsoft system which comes with a lot of packages like PHP my admin my SQL by default it's MariaDB PHP Perl um, few other softwares now this may take a bit longer than it you expect on my system it's taking a bit longer okay so it should be up and running in just few minutes so this is apache http server that wants access so allow access go ahead and click on it and creating an installer 75 percent okay so you may get few a window that will ask for access to simply say allow access now here uh, installation is complete you can see completing the XAMP or XAMP set of wizard do you want to start the control panel now and say finish if you want to check it if you do not want uncheck it so now this is going to launch the control panel you can select your language I'm going to keep it English American English and save and here is the XM server which is running now you can see these are the module that it comes with you can start Apache and MySQL as well okay so as soon as you start MySQL it will ask for the access say allow access okay so here we are now if we go ahead and go to localhost we will see something like this so this is basically xm configuration here i can go ahead and close the other downloads pages now you got access to many things here you can go ahead and access your mysql using php my admin that gets downloaded and installed and configured with xm that's the beauty of using xm server it saves your time and makes your job easier to manage so this is basically php my admin for mysql database so here you can create a database manage the manage old databases and have a look at the tables and all that okay so you can look at them like this now you can also go ahead and check the php version and all the stuff so you, as soon as you click on it this opens up a new tab here so this is php version 7.3.10 you can go ahead and check the packages the modules uh, uh, installed and activated in this php on this php info page okay so this is how you download and install xm server on microsoft windows 10 if you have any issue installing or downloading XM package on Microsoft Windows 10 please leave your comment and questions in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day bye for now